All right, the moment of truth, boys. All right, electric, three minutes. We have one max ammo, critical rate, critical damage attack, max ammo, and critical rate, and then elemental damage. So that's like not useful. Uh, and then this one is one, two, three max ammo, but they're all 40%. So essentially 120 also. Got some crit rate, one attack, uh, critical damage. So this also has one line of attack, 120% ammo essentially. And and then Ludmilla has about 130% and then one line of attack. And then Modernia has one line of attack also and two lines of max ammo. They're basically all equal. Each of them has one line of attack and like about 120 to 130 percent max ammo. This this if there's anything else that you could you could like make them as much equal as much as possible. This is it. 10 10 10 Ludmilla, 7 10 9 Guillotine, and 10 10 10 Modernia. Okay, 5-5-5 five, five, five on the gears for Modernia, 5-5-4 five, five, on Guillotine, 5-5-1 five, five, on Ludmilla. I don't know how else you could make it like as much equal as they can be, okay? Like this is as equal as they can be against a neutral enemy, this electric boss. We have volume at this uh, using Quantum and 4 10 10 on volume and 10 4 10 on novel for the most part they usually are like targeting the same so we don't really care about you know whether oh volumes like hitting uh the boss it, it's fine like the the machine guns tend to like copy each other battle of the century here we go here we go i can like swap them around also yeah, you're gonna see that they're trapped fighting each they're targeting the same ones so we're using resilience on ludmilla and bastion on guillotine and modernia i wonder how it would look like on bastion on ludmilla also so i'm gonna test that out also after this guillotine bursted last so they are a equal on burst let's see the moment of truth It's a lot closer than I expected. Level five, level 5 chest could make a difference. It could. Here's another factor that probably uh, you guys uh, might have overlooked. So let me show you the attack, the exact attack, right? Ludmilla has 165. Guillotine has 165. So they're basically equal. 165, uh, 645. 165291. Modernia has 167. Also, so the affection you get like 2.3k. So like for guillotine 1.6. So like around like 700. 700 attack from that. And also the pilgrim manufacturer outpost recycling outpost versus the Elysian and Tetra. So I have plus 1.9k here. It's plus 2.4k pilgrim plus 3.4k. So so that's that's where the additional like 2k that Modernia has over over them. It's because of the outpost and then the affection. Otherwise they're roughly equal. Yeah, if they have the same attack, then Ludmilla might do slightly more than Mod. Lud should do slightly more damage than Mod. However, with them on the same team, Ludernia. Ah, yeah, that's true. Because Ludmilla is buffing also Guillotine and Modernia too. So, this actually, yeah. So, if you put, let's say, the same team comp, Ludmilla, and then without Modernia and then another the same team comp 
Modernia with without Ludmilia, Lud Ludmilia would technically contribute more because of the damage taken. But with them on the same team, then I could see why Modernia would be a little bit on the top of it too. This is damage taken and everyone is benefiting off it. So like Guillotine was benefiting off it, Modernia was benefiting off it. So if we could do the same run again, one with like uh, Ludmilia and then the other with Modernia, then yeah. So she is basically equal to Modernia. Honestly, uh, actually, like I would even, I would even say better than Modernia because she is more flexible in terms of team composition. Now l let me try with Bastion. I just, I'm, I'm curious on this if it's gonna make a difference. How are you gonna fit her in five teams now? Uh, you could put her in Tianaga, or you could put her alone, or you could put her together with the bunnies. Like, Ludmilla is flexi more flexible than Modernia. One of the downsides of Modernia is you kind of on bosses, you don't want to use her as bursting. But with Ludmilla, you can use her as burster. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a pro and con depending on the team comp, right? But that also means that you are more open to putting Ludmilla in the Tianaga comp. This is also where I'm not kind of optimizing my reload timing, because as much as much as possible, you want to reload when Moder when Ludmilla's burst is up, like the the reload buff. So like if possible, you want to force reload. It's still roughly the same. So you can do Bastion or Resilience, however if you want a manual play, I think Resilience could end up being better if you time your reload manually. Okay, so let me try this where I manual my reload on Ludmilla with Resilience. What if I reload like slightly after bursting on the second rotation? There's that, yeah, there's that weird kind of reload timing and also the thing is because guillotine and moderna reloaded at the same time okay i'm gonna have an assist yeah see that reload nicely and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reload probably after bursting. Right, right there. Okay. So now I refresh that. Let's see. Come on. I hope you make it. Oh! Oh! Just in time! Just, just in time! So I need to reload again, probably after bursting here. Oh my god! Okay, so I think after I realigned it, I think it's working like the... Maybe it's gonna work? I might have to manual a little bit, maybe? Oh wow! Yeah! So I just reload after bursting with 2 max ammo capacity and it's just like perfect with resilience. It's just lining up. It's like it's it's like the perfect number. Like 2 tier 11 max ammo is like the perfect number with resilience. In infinite fire no it's like the the reload like she her she is reloading at the same time as when her when she's bursting uh, except when the boss jumps okay that that one is just annoying but I, I'll, I'll leave it as is because like the other ones are auto also autoing but if you force to have her reload as soon as yeah, as soon as the burst happens, if you force her to reload, you basically from their point on, with 2 tier 11 max ammo, 
You're just, you're timing your resilience perfectly. Yeah, obviously there's like, yeah, again, when the boss jumps, all of the AIs kind of just stop shooting. If you want to min-max it, you could keep bursting, you could keep shooting with manual if you're just controlling her. But obviously, too, just compare both, all three of them this way. There it is. And so if you manual Ludmilla correctly, if you line it up, correctly she would out damage modernia you just line if you line up like your um so that you're reloading whenever she has her burst up that is actually like an insane kind of just perfect timing if you're running without noir I, resilience is the play and two max ammo lines See, uh, these are two, uh, 268 percent somehow it just works out nicely really nicely maybe you might get away with um, a tier 10 like a tier 11 a tier 10 or two tier 10s maybe but right now so far at the very least with this team it's just working out nicely actually if you have a fast charger so because like this team didn't have a fast charger in it so if we had like a, let's say like a rocket launcher or a sniper rifle for fast charging for burst, uh, this team, uh, she would actually be fine. Because you would you would be able to burst with Ludmilla before you you would your cooldown or your ammo would run out. So with less max ammo, right? Like the play like, with a little bit less max ammo, you might need to bring maybe like a like a sniper rifle or rock launcher and fast charge with also like a cooldown reduction. It's not affected by burst cooldown but it's more about like because you want to get a full rotation from when you reloaded until Ludmilla bursts again. And if you time your reload at the beginning of full burst, somehow every, every time after that with this two lines of max ammo somehow it just times it nicely so that she will always reload like around that time i i would actually even wager that it might ruin the auto if you have more than two max ammo i, I mean like you know it's not the big deal because you could manual so where you will force load so if you have more max ammo you just have to make sure that you're forced load reloading at like specific times and um, and she will perform like better but two two lines of max ammo is like the magic number yeah with four lines yeah you probably maybe you could get away with bastion instead yeah maybe with more lines maybe you could get away with bastion but if you're running with two lines you could you, you have two options you could do it with if you run her with bunnies what you can do is you run this with bastion instead and what this will do is it will allow you to have infinite ammo with blanc and noir so with this two lines i believe the breakpoint that someone it's not that breakpoint but someone did say that they had Ludmilla at level 10 S1 and level 7 Noir S2 with 84 84.5% max ammo and litter and they managed to still have infinite. You might maybe maybe you could get away with like less also. Maybe maybe you could get away with the level 5 Noir like and maybe like higher max ammo or something like that. Or or maybe maybe that's already enough. I I at least can tell you that one line of max ammo was not enough. Even when my Noir was like 10 level, 10 level skill too, so like one one max ammo was just not enough. I, I think two max ammo is definitely like the magic number here that we're looking for. So to kind of clarify the budget build for her, 10 for six, definitely absolutely max skill one, right? That's 
that that increases the damage taken and 20 rounds of ammo refund every 60 so that's like skill one is definitely like a mox but for skill two i did some math of that and you guys could get away with like level four skill two for example make the difference damage increase between level four and level 10 skill two is about four percent 4.5 percent um but this is assuming unlimited ammo and no supports obviously with different supports and ammo uh it's gonna it's gonna vary but like let's say if we're just going with bunny girls then the difference is about four percent damage and then for burst level six is where we found that is actually good so the level six here is where we managed to keep up with resilience seven where you can manage to keep up the spool spool time so you can keep reloading without losing without dropping your speed attack speed too low that you have to spool up time again on your or rev up time however you call it but basically like there's when you're initially starting with machine gun right there's like that scatter shots that's happening so you want level six at least on the burst which is what we found and then resilience level seven but you know might as well like push it to seven because you know it, that's like usually the stopping number and level 10 just higher level for a little bit more damage but to give an idea also you're only getting 2.5 percent more damage between level 7 and level 10 burst and assuming that there's unlimited ammo with no supports obviously that's kind of impossible so yeah i would go with that uh and so that's why i mentioned here that the budget build is that's why i mentioned here that the budget build is 10 for 6 but you could go for like okay 10 7 7 it's like okay you did but obviously more damage every single skill will increase her damage more so i would go with 10 10 10 eventually but if you're on a budget like not enough not enough resources 10 for 6 is like your super minimal and then 10 7 7 is kind of like the middle where people are kind of usually you know seven is usually people are kind of fine investing on but if you have other units to invest on i think 10 for 6 might be enough if you feel like you're still dropping stacks maybe maybe i don't know like your cap camera or like my camera. maybe your fps is still like not enough then i would go with probably pushing it to level seven the higher the level on the burst the more kind of freedom on like when you're reloading i would consider two max ammo attack percentage in la and kind of like similar priority definitely probably two max ammo actually i would probably go with this i yeah i'm i'm more leaning towards there because there's this is just a huge quality of life in terms of like just the reload timing and everything 